It is a cold dude today. Is it too cold to eat? There's a few of them coming out of that lean-to. We're fixing to bring uh, the goats in to sort. In, uh, so I'm starting to feed them just a little bit of corn so we can get them in there good. What's up, Tigger? Got to got to got to. A little bit, Tig. There you go. Hey. <laughs> Don't do that to me. Hey, quit. Rick's been training him to eat out of the bucket. What's wrong, ladies? They look like they're starving to death. You think we'd had ice for the last two days or something? Come on, go day! Yeah, got day! What do you say, Willie? Willie! Stay in front of them and knock me down. That's it. I don't have any more. All right, now let's get the dogs taken care of. All right, come on, White. Come on, White. Come on. One. Two. Three. Yeah, everybody smell of it. right there is going to go this year. She's got a bad bag. See that one quarter? Whoop. Five. Is that everybody? 
Sam, come on, Sam. Come on, big guy. Six. There you go. Hey, get in there, Sam. Fight for your right, buddy. Hey! Hey! That's good. There you go, Betsy. Eat. Eat. Come on. You guys better learn to stay away from that. You, know, you look like you need a little more. Hey, you need a little bit. You know, you want these dogs to protect their feed from the goats. You just don't want them to get too aggressive. They may look like they're just ripping them to pieces. Actually, they look like a wild lion, but... But, uh... It's not really that bad. It's all about bluff. Here's the rest of the goats right here. This saddle goat right here that I was saying doesn't look bred to me. She might be. She might just be holding it a little low. We'll give her a chance before we go with her. They look pretty good. Uh, that little billy kid right there is a, looks like he needs a little help. But uh, the rest of them look pretty good to me. There's nothing there for you, lady. One of Josh's pocket doughs. What do you say, girl? Yeah. This is one of our first. This is our first bottle baby right here. Her and her sister used to play with Miss Kate. They had a blast. You better cut that out. That was a vicious bluff right there. Old Red doesn't know what kind of trouble he'd be in with that right there. This is the second time I've given them corn in, I mean, months. Way, way, way long ago. Probably back last fall, if I remember right. Uh, so it doesn't take many times. Once you've kind of given them just a little taste, it sure is nice bucket pulling them in the pens. You know, that's something that we don't ever do with the cattle. Uh, we just don't give them any treats at all because it just, cattle are just, uh, I guess the bottom line is the cattle would hurt you really bad if they were coming to treats like these goats just were. And if you had to feed a bunch of cattle a little bit of a treat to get them to come to the pens, that might get pretty expensive. This old nanny right here, boy, she is loaded with babies. Look at her. This is a little doling right here that she's not bred. If she is, she's bred late. Which that's something that we expect. We don't we don't expect all of our dolings to breed the first year. We just don't want to have to put them in a separate pasture or a separate herd to manage. Because we've got too many too many other labor things going on that we need to attend to and we feel like that's something that can be done uh, on their own they're either going to get bred or they're not they're e either going to have it or they're not and however that works is how nature was going to make it work and so we don't want to spend any any time or effort trying to control that for our situation uh, for other people and friends of mine you know they need to be watching it because uh, they, they can't afford to lose one of their goats. Because, I mean, their, their goats are nice, what I call a nice goat. These are commercial, Spanish, mostly siphon goats. They're supposed to do it all on their own. And if you've heard any of my story, you know that when we started, we went into it with the aspect of they're going to do it on their own. And so we're not going to help them any. And so we've kind of continued that, uh, not kind of, uh, we have continued that. We've split it into more pastures, and that was a tremendous help. You know, Ben Hobbig, uh, who is in Montana now doing sheep in a feed yard, uh, he was doing goats down around north central Texas, 
And uh, he, from watching his channel, it, it, it helped me learn that I could use the same poly wire I'm using with cattle and do two of them for the goats and it would it would hold them so it really opened up a lot of doors for us as far as rotating our goats and helping with the parasite load so they're they're basically they do it on their own uh, and we expect them to do that if they don't they they either go to town or they get cold so we're glad about how they're doing now <laughs> one thing i've learned is they they are uh they are not unbelievably hardy. Some are better than most. But they do have issues every now and then. The boy floppy. He feels pretty good. You feel okay? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, hey. Thanks for watching. Now it's time to go home and get out of this cold.